before solving an integral equation while using uh, homotopy perturbation method let me just give you an idea to solve homotopy perturbation method for first order ode so our problem is very simple suppose we have dy by dx plus y is equal to 0 and suppose we have y of 0 is equal to 2 this is our first order ode so let me just con uh, construct a homotopy h which depends on our solution v for example and then we have a embedding parameter p over here so how can we define h that will be 1 minus p and here you need to introduce a very simple problem the simple of this uh, differential equation suppose we define dv by dx and we don't need any dv minus dv not by dx over here plus p and here on the second uh, second term we have dv by dx plus v equal to 0 so here we have a simple problem here we have a complete ordinary differential equation you can see that this is a very simple problem it can easily be solved by integrating this uh, differential equation but the idea is to understand homotopy perturbation method so first of all if you you are solving it by by man, manual by hand we have for example from here we have dv by dx we multiply this first we try to simplify that and that is minus p dv by dx then we have plus p dv by dx plus pv is equal to 0 these two terms will be cancel out so we have dv by dx plus pv is equal to 0 this is our equation number this is if this is equation 1 we call it equation number 2 so what we have the solution the solution that i already discussed in the theory it is equal to p is i'm sorry v is equal to v not plus p v1 plus p2 v2 p3 v3 plus so on so our idea is to get v not first then get v1 then get v2 then get v3 so on and put all these values over here so what we do we actually and remember one thing you should remember this v not is a function of x it is a fun it is it is a function of your independent variable if it is x then it is x and v1 is a function of x similarly v2 is a function of x and so on you got the idea i put our solution into this differential equation so we get d by dx v not plus p 
P V one plus P two V two plus P three V three. It depends how many terms you can take to solve your problem. So on. Plus P V is V naught plus P V one P two V two. P three V three plus so on, and that will be equal to zero. First, we differentiate all these terms since it is a function of x. We have d V naught by d x plus p d V one by d x, so on. D V two by d x. Plus p three v three d v three by d x d v three by d x. Again, the second one. Here we have p v naught plus p two v one plus p q v two plus p raised to power four. V three, and we also have dot 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 equal to zero. This is uh, the differential equation. So now we have, for example, the initial condition. We need to put our solution into the initial condition as well. So our initial condition is. Y of zero is equal to two, and when we have approximation, then what we can what we can do, we put. We maybe I repeat again. V will be equal to V naught plus P V one P two V two P three V three so on. So. X is equal to zero is v naught plus p v one zero p two v two zero p three v three zero. On the left hand side, we have v of zero is equal to two. It is just a convention that your solution you can. Call that solution either y or either v. It is fine, but we preferably call it or approximate solution v. So that will be equal to v naught p v one zero p two v two zero p three v three zero so on. That's what we uh, required. So we have equation number three. Then we have equation number four. Now what we do? We compare all the coefficients of p naught, p one, p raised to power two, so on. When we have coefficients, the first thing we have p zero. What we have for p zero, p zero we have d v naught by d x is equal to zero. And what is initial condition? Initial condition you can get from equation number four. When we have p raised to power zero over here, then p raised to power zero. We are comparing coefficients, not only for different uh, over. Uh, Differential equation, but also for over initial condition. So v naught is equal to two. Similarly, we have p one. For p one, our solution will the coefficient will be d v one by d x, and then we have v naught, the coefficient of 
P A P one is V naught. So what we have, we have D V one by D X and V naught. So we put over here D V one over D X plus V naught is equal to zero. Then we have P two. P two. And we have over here for P two d v two by d x plus v one is equal to zero. Remember that for every differential equation, we also required initial condition. When I introduce, when I compare the initial conditions for, for P zero, we get v naught is equal to two. For P one from the initial condition, it is V one zero is zero, so it means that we have V one zero is equal to zero. Since I required initial condition for the V one differential equation, similarly we have, uh, for example, V two zero is equal to zero. So that's the idea of. Uh, Uh, comparing the coefficients first. Now we solve all these equations. So first I solve equation number A, then equation number B, then I solve equation number C. From equation A, we have d v naught by d x is equal to zero. I just integrate and I get v naught is equal to constant c one. when i put initial condition v not 0 over here which has a value of 2 so it means that c1 is equal to 2 so the first solution is v not is equal to 2 now i solve the second uh, differential equation uh, equation b here i have d v1 by d x plus and v not is 2 which is equal to 0 so what i do i integrate this again dv1 by dx is equal to minus 2 and i integrate i get minus 2x plus c2 and from the initial condition when i have v1 0 then i have 0 plus c2 is equal to 0 so c2 is 0 so i get v1 is equal to minus 2x again the last maybe differential equation it is it will continue but i just want to solve first few terms of this uh, differential equation then i have dv2 by dx minus 2x is equal to 0 and initial 2x minus 2x is equal to 0 i solve this again dv2 by dx is equal to 2x integrate that you get x square okay we get x square but shouldn't be uh, that is second order differential equation let me see that either i did some uh, error or is it fine to have uh, this differential equation Oh, let me see. Hmm. Uh, yes, it is fine. So we have v two is equal to x square, so on. Okay. So our solution is v is equal to v naught plus p v one plus p Two v two, so on. V naught is two plus p. What is v one? V one is minus two x plus p two. Maybe I should write. Uh, I should integrate that first. So it will be v two x square plus. C three 
initial condition c3 is equal to 0 so it is fine so i get x square over here so it is x square plus so on so v will be equal to 2 minus uh, 2 2 px plus p2 x square plus so on so i have maybe i take 2 as a common over here 2 as a common then i have 1 minus px plus p square x square by 2 plus so on and then we uh, we put what we do we apply limit p approaches to 1 our solution y will be equal to limit p approaches to 1 to 1 minus px plus p2 x square by 2 minus it should be maybe it, there will be a minus so okay since it is alternating uh, signs so you 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 may see that that will appear over here so we get 2 1 minus x plus x square by 2 minus so on so you can see that this is a series of e raised to power minus x okay our solution is this so y will be equal to 2 e raised to power minus x this is the solution that we obtained from homotopy perturbation method and if you solve this problem by integrating directly integrating you will get the same answer that's the beauty of uh, this homotopy perturbation method thank you for watching